Hi everybody, it's Stacy from Stacy's Art Studio. So this is the first time that I'm on camera, so uh, bear with me as I learn how to do it. It's a little tricky for me. I'm very dyslexic, so it's kind of tricky. Anyway, um, this is the painting that I've been planning on working on. We're not going to today. Today I wanted to talk about what I do to set up to start painting. Um, I don't know how everybody else does it, but I thought I'd share with you what I do. So the first thing is I believe that a person really needs to be comfortable when they get ready to create. So I make sure I have pretty loose, comfortable clothing to work in. And then the other important thing is you need to be okay with getting paint all over your clothes. I have quite a collection of painting clothes because I tend to forget that I'm not wearing painting clothes when I start painting. I get all excited and get going. So it's just one of the challenges of being me as a painter. <laughs> I'm very messy. And then the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to start by moving the camera so you can see what I do here on the floor is my handy dandy little footstool for my old broken foot. Uh, you gotta have, you gotta be pain free while you're working too. So let's see. Now over here behind me, we have my table that I use for just the paints that I'm using for this particular painting. And I have my water bucket for my brushes. And I have a nice cold drink that I try to keep separate from over here because it has been known for me to put my paintbrush right in my drink and that pretty much ruins your day. Then I have all my brushes and I have some new ones right here that I can't wait to get started to use. And then you want to pick an area in your home where you have really good light. Um, diffuse light from outside is the best. This home had this add-on uh, room when we bought it and I was like, yay, I'm going to have a studio. <laughs> and uh, the back wall is all windows and behind that is a porch so it diffuses the light that comes in so it makes a really good studio. And then I did a, a whole redo of the room and um, I will do a video of it another time so you can see all my little uh, quirks that I have. Um, you know, just like any job, you dress for the part and you need your head to be in the right head space to do the work. So I went really old uh, world style and a little bit of fairy tale in here so that I could be in the right creative space to work. And then the other thing is your comfort level as far as temperature in your home. Uh, if you like to work when it's warm or if you like to work when it's cool. I prefer cool. So it turns out that I actually paint a lot more in the winter than I do in the summer because this room actually does get pretty warm in the summer. And in the winter it stays nice and chilly and that makes me really happy. I just get some nice warm socks and a nice cup of hot tea or hot chocolate and I could just paint all day. I'm just as happy as a clam. And let's see, I'm trying to think of anything else that I could share with you right now. Um, but next time we'll get started on this and I'll also do a video of the studio. And I hope you're having a great day out there and I hope you'll bear with me as I learn how to do this video uh, stuff. So have a great day. Bye.